Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. So I got your profile for evaluation and I'm going to evaluate you based on the coding skill. Okay. So before starting, can you tell me yourself about your technical skill set and the number of years of experience you have? Yeah, I have around uh, one year, eight years of experience and I work in a uh, financial domain. Uh, basically, I work in Java and related technologies, so uh, Java, Spring Boot, Hibernate, uh, and uh, I have uh, exposure of uh, MongoDB as well. I've just started using MongoDB. And uh, apart from that, we work on uh, solving small bugs and we sometimes work on um, adding new features uh, to the product. So that's why that's what my uh, roles and responsibilities are. Okay, perfect. Now uh, you can see my screen, right? Yeah. Not bad, plus, plus. Okay, perfect. So I can see uh, there is a problem statement where you have to find the minimum distance between two words in a sentence. So I'm going to provide you a sentence. And if you have to find the minimum distance between two words, which I'm going to provide you as an input. So let us consider, uh, you can see line number three, use cloud tech for learning Java. That is my sentence. And I'm going to provide you two words. Word one is cloud tech, word two is learning. And you have to find the minimum distance between these two words. So you see cloud tech is the first word, learning is two, a second word, and the distance between these two words is one. So the output should be one. Uh, did you get my problem? Yeah, I, I got the problem, yes. Okay, so can you write the code in Java to find this minimum distance between the two words in a sentence? Yeah, so uh, just to uh, again, once again, once again repeat it, uh, at line number nine, for example, use cloud tech for learning Java. And the first word is cloud tech and the second word is Java. So there are two more words between uh, cloud tech and Java, which is for and learning. So the output should be two in this case, correct? Yes, correct. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So let me try to write the program to solve this. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to write main method, which is starting point of our uh, application or program. After that, uh, to solve this problem, I'm going to write a method known as uh, distance. So let's try to write that method. It's a public method and it's going to be a static method because I'm going to call it from main and it is going to return integer and I'm going to name the method as distance, which is going to accept uh, three parameters. The first one is the sentence. So I'm going to call a uh, string S. This is going to be your sentence in which you are going to pass the original uh, sentence that you showed me. Then I have two words. I'm going to name them as string uh, w1. This is going to be word one and uh, string w2. So this uh, basically uh, specifies, S specifies your sentence, which is at line number three, use cloud tech for learning Java. w1 is your uh, word one and w2 is your word two, okay? So that's about the parameter. And this is going to return integer uh, that means it is going to return the minimum distance between these two words. So let's try to uh, write the logic for this. So if your word one dot equals word two, that means both the words are equal. Uh, for example, consider this, uh, if I enter cloud tech twice, so cloud tech is equal to cloud tech and the distance between both the words is zero. So let's do if w1 is equals w2, in that case, I'm going to return zero because the distance between them is zero. So this is the first case. Now, if both words are different, then in that case, what we are going to do, we are going to split uh, the original sentence into string array. So let's try to find all the words in your string array and how to find that is s dot split. And our regular expression is going to be a uh, space because we separate the words by space. And this will give me the number of uh, words in the in the sentence. Okay, so let's try to make this an, an array. So it is going to be a string array. Okay, so I got all the words present in my sentence. Uh, now I'm going to declare one more variable known as minimum distance. So integer minimum distance is equal to 
uh, for as a starting point, I'm going to take the minimum distance as the number of words in my sentence. So just to get number of words uh, in my sentence, I'm going to use words dot length plus one. So this will give me uh, the minimum distance uh, between two words. So consider this. So there are one, two, three, four, and five words. So I'm going to take words dot length plus one. Okay, so this is going to be a minimum distance. After that, I'm going to use two for loop, one inside the other uh, to find the actual distance between those words. So let me uh, try to go through uh, the first for loop. In first for loop, I'm going to define an index. It is going to start with uh, zero and it is going to run till words dot length. And I'm going to do index dot uh, plus plus. So this is going to be my index. And I'm going to do index plus plus. So this is basically doing iterating through all the words uh, that, that are present in your uh, words array. And then I'm going to check if uh, while iterating through the index, if the word is equal uh, to the one provided uh, by the user. So to do that, I'm going to do if words of index, which is basically saying if words of uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, if words of index dot equals, I'm going to check if it is equal to uh, the word that is provided from outside, which is W1. In that case, if W1 is uh, present, that, that specifies at this index, I have W1. So this is my first index. Okay, now I need to find the second index. So how to find the second index? To find the second index, I'm again going to use a for loop and I'm going to uh, name this as search. So this is basically trying to identify if uh, W2 is present in your sentence. So let's try to do index search equal to zero. Search is uh, less than again words dot uh, length and I'm going to do search plus plus. So this is uh, trying to identify uh, the index of your second word, which is W2. So to identify the index of second word, I'm going to use words instead of index now we are going to use search because we are trying to locate the uh, second word so let's try to do that index of search dot equals and w2 all right so this will give me uh, the index of second word so if we got the index of second word we are going to find the difference between index one which is this and index two which is this okay so to do that, I am going to define define a variable inside. So I'm going to call this as integer uh, current index, and uh, I'm going to do math dot absolute. I'm just going to subtract uh, these two things. So to subtract, I'm going to do index minus search, and then I'm going to subtract one from this to get the actual uh, current index. Okay. So this is my current index. Now I'm going to add one more uh, if condition just to check if your current, as we need to find the minimum distance between two words. So we have maintained this variable minimum distance. So if current is less than your uh, minimum distance, then I'm going to make minimum distance equal to current. So this is just reassigning current value to your minimum distance if it is less than uh, the minimum distance. So let's try to do that. Okay, and finally, once uh, uh, the minimum distance is available to me, I'm going to return it from the method. So to return it from the method, return minimum distance. So this will give me uh, the minimum distance between two words. So let's try to test this now, uh, as you have already given me uh, the input and output. So string str equal to your I'm going to copy your sentence in short to use cloud tech for learning Java. So this is my uh, sentence in which I have to find the distance between cloud tech, which is first word and learning, which is second word. I'm going to declare uh, two more variable uh, W1 equal to, and I'm going to make this as uh, cloud tech. Okay, and string W2. And I'm going to make this as uh, learning, which is your 
second button. Okay, and now I'm going to call uh, our distance method that we just wrote uh, this out. And distance is my method. It accepts uh, str, which is your sentence. It accepts w1, it accepts w2. So let me run the program and see what is the distance. So you can see it prints one when we find the distance between cloud tech and learning. And your second case is where you need to find the distance between cloud tech and Java. Uh, so it is going to be two. So let's try to do that. First is cloud tech, second is your Java. So let me run this now. And you can see it printed uh, two, which is foreign learning. So these are the two words between cloud tech and Java. So I think um, that's it from the um, coding. Yeah. Okay, uh, it's working as expected. I'm done from my side. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, no, I don't have any questions from my side. Thank you. Bye okay, bye. fine. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.